Hello, my friends. I'd like to welcome everybody back to my channel. This is Classic Jam. The transformation is now complete. The music room has now have IKEA, Calex furniture, have my record storage with all my record collection in the back. I have my DJ studio with all my mixing board, my turntables, my speakers, and all my equipment. So all the clutter is gone. This has been uh, quite a journey I've been wanting to do for the past two years. So I like to document this and show you exactly how I built my IKEA furniture. And this is intended to help other people and people that want to store all your records really nice and neat. This is really good stuff. It's built very well. So I like to take you on this journey to show you how I removed everything from the music room and put everything together. So here we go. How's it going, vinyl community? This is going to be a before and after picture. What this is, this is my entertainment center with all my crates of records up here. I'll be putting together all my new IKEA furniture that I just got in. Uh, it's going to take some time to put everything together. As you can tell, I got everything crammed up. This is my entertainment center. Here's uh, some records, some boxes I got from Walmart here. Uh, just full of records, man. All kind of jams up in there. Look at all that. Crates of records. Crates here. Open up the entertainment center. I got records here. There's the old school Coca-Cola crate. There's all my stuff jammed in there. And my closet just full of vinyl. As you can tell, there's all my crates and boxes and everything. Everything is so full. I can't wait to put my new... Uh, Ikea Kallax together. It's going to be great. As you can tell, this is all my uh, equipment here. I'm going to put some studio furniture together. It's going to look really nice. There's my two Techniques 1200s. There's my Rain 61 mixer. My laptop. There's my speakers. I got the uh, Mackie studio monitors there. As you can tell, I got all my stuff in the... Uh, in the crates, the marathon and road ready crates. I got it on a six foot table. Like I said, everything is all crammed up in here. My music room is so small. I can't wait to put my new IKEA furniture together. So, uh, in my next video, I'm gonna put together my IKEA furniture, and I have everything really nice organized. I can hardly wait. I've been waiting to do this for over two years. So, I've been uh, in some of my videos. I kind of mentioned that. So. Please be ready, my friends. All right, my friends, the IKEA Kallax furniture just arrived, so I can do my uh, record shelf storage and also my uh, studio for all my equipment. As you can tell, I repainted the entire music room. I know it's not that big, and I left everything the same on my uh, on my wall. That's my case with all my uh, collectible records that I like to collect. Anyway, uh, these are the boxes, and they are very, very heavy. This is the uh, this is the Calax. This is the IKEA furniture that I ordered. Just came in. This is the four by four. As you can tell, it's two boxes. You see one of two, and it has a one on it. That's one box. The other one, as you can tell, has the uh, four by four, and there you have a two. And right here it says two of two. So any of y'all that ordered IKEA furniture, that's how it comes. And I have plans to put this one on top of the 4x4. Four four. Hopefully it all works out. This is the 1x4. As you can tell, this is the Calyx 1x4 one by one by IKEA furniture. So that's what I have so far. My entertainment center is gone. It was uh, quite a task getting out of here with all the records. And I got all this extra stuff, wires and mixing board and filing cabinet and everything I need to get out. So stay tuned. I'm going to tell you, it was a lot of work getting everything out of here. I'm going to tell you what I bought totally from Ikea. I bought the uh, 4x4. I bought two 1x4s. I bought two 2x4s so I could put my studio desk together. I bought the uh, the lac shelf. I think it's about 43 inches long. I bought the two lac uh, small shelves, 8x10s, from my uh, speakers. Also, I bought some uh, di diode, what it is, LED lights that I installed. 
uh, the stands I got. I got the uh, God Morgan stands and also the Capita stands. So all that helped out a whole lot in constructing this. So a lot of work, my friends, putting all this together. Uh, what I did, I took the 4x4 and put the 1x4 on top. You'll see some pictures coming up. The IKEA Calyx was very easy to put together. It took about 45 minutes. I had a rubber mallet plus all the tools to go with it. In the next coming pictures you'll see on the backing of this uh, record shelving, I used 3 16 pegboard, which is pretty good. I used the uh, drywall screws and also I cut some 2x4s and I got it secured on the back with the brackets to the studs in the wall to make it secure because my whole collection I have 1,300 records in here, so it's extremely heavy. But again, the Calax is very well put together. And I want to make sure I got it secured on the wall. So here comes the pictures. My friends, that was a lot of work, but I had so much fun organizing all those records and genres and beats per minute. Uh, notice that I had double copies, triple copies of some of my favorite tracks. So later on in the video, I'll show you more in detail with that. Upcoming is uh, pictures of what I use. I changed my mind a couple times on my studio. At first, I was going to use the uh, uh, I have six inch Capita uh, legs. I was supposed to buy the 4 inch, but I bought the 6 inch instead. After putting it on the bottom of my, I had put two 2x4s two together for my stand, and I noticed that the screws are really loose. Also, another thing, when you put your IKEA furniture together, try to use some better screws. Don't use the screws that come with it so you have more support and go deeper inside the wood. And remember, this is press board, so you got to be careful with it. So, another thing I changed my mind on. I use the uh, the God Morgans for my uh, my speaker stands, which came out a lot better. So let's roll with the video.
number one, really enjoy that. Uh, just showing the small pieces. Uh, the pictures say a thousand words, and I hope you like all the music I had in the background. And uh, it is my pleasure to introduce to you my music room, and here we go. My friends, welcome to my music room. Here it is, my IKEA Kallax furniture, all put together, my LED lights. Here's my Techniques 1200, my rain mixing board, my second turntable. As you can tell, I have my studio monitors with the LAC uh, 8x10 with the Guy Morgan stands. I put my uh, CD recorder right there. That's my old school CD recorder from 1997, the Pioneer PDR-04. Laptop right on top. There we go. Hey, in the background, you can see that's the cap of the legs. Those are the six inch. And of course, I have to get the uh, wire loom and everything, kind of dress everything up. I'm gonna pan back right now. As you can tell on the bottom, I don't, these are for my future record collection. Right now I have about 1,300 records in my collection. Overall, in the next about five years, I like to get a total of about 2,000. So, here we got the old school lava lamp right there. I'm going to pan out to the side. Really cool. This is the music room, my friends. There it is. 20 cubes of vinyl records. Mostly 12 inch singles, 1300 records. Really nice. And on the, on the top, I put my road ready cases. And as you can tell, that's my, uh, my Eurolight case with my sealed records in there. Really nice. Nice put together. No more clutter, no more table. Real nice. I can just add to the collection. And over here, I bought another one by four and I put all my my DJ books in here and there you see my Freddie Fresh rap records and in here I got all like 45s I can bring a few of them out for you I got like jam on it computer age push the button the KLF here I got a uh, rock the world by Bose here we got snap the power Got Houdini Friends. And we got the Rock Ranger Talk Up Promotional right there. So in here I'm kind of collecting some of my 45s. And down here I got some of my spindles. And I'm going to get some of my CDs together to make it look really good. But this is what it looks like. All the hard work really paid off. And uh, thanks to everybody that made the videos on YouTube with IKEA Kallax and the Expedit and all the other forms of IKEA furniture. Really appreciate it. Another thing, when you put this uh, lac table together, this 43 inch right here, that I put it about four inches from the end so I could access my computer without bending my back. So this works out really, really well. So let's go on to the, uh, the record shelf and show you what I have. Over here, I got everything in the genres. I got electro freestyle, starting over from the left. And you always ask yourself, what is in the beginning of somebody's uh, record collection? I'm a very organized person. I'm going to tell you what I got here. Here we got uh, Too Short. This is Freaky Tales 2. I think it's 84 beats per minute. Here we got uh, some Rick's a lot. We got Posse on Broadway. It's a classic. Here we got Play This Only at Night by Dougie Fresh and the Get Fresh crew. Let's see what else we got. Here we got Mantronics, Needle to the Groove. And we have uh, the Ghetto Boys. My mind's playing tricks on me. Right here we got all the beats per minute up to about 115. And right here we got 117 beats per minute. ICJ takes a real man. Uh, over here we got some more. We got Freestyle, Toe Max, Regrets Only. Here we got April, Right On Time. You flip this way. Here we got Glen Street, Hard Line, some good California Freestyle. There's good old live cinema, pop density. These are all 12 inch singles up here. Then we got Roll It Up, Success and Effect. Over here we got uh, Scorpio, Grandmaster Flash. 
And we got Houseman, Voyu, good stuff. Uh, what else we got? White Horse, laid back. So that's a lot of uh, 122, 123 beats per minute. And look at this, my friends. We got two, three, four rows full of 12 inch singles. And as we come over here, we got Situation Hot. And he's at the 130 beats per minute. Then we got Computer Age, Push the Button. Some really good stuff in here. Rock the Planet, Megatrons. And as we flip through here, here's Def Con. We have uh, the two live crew. And uh, what else we got? This is a really good one. Arthur Baker. This is Breaker's Revenge. Here we got Don't Knock It Till You Try by Bose. All time B Boy Booming Classic right there. Crystal Glove Taylor. Reckless from the uh, Breaking Soundtrack. There we got Turntable Action. Here we got the 126 beats per minute, Egyptian Lover. We got Girls. We got Uncle Jam's Army. Then we got Jamie Jupiter, Computer Power. Uh, moving over here, Nightmare on Elm Street. I mean, Nightmare on ADE Street. And you got Baby Bush Records. A lot of good stuff. Debbie Deb. This is all the 124 beats per minute section. There's Trenier. I'll be all you ever need. And as we move down here, we have our house. We got Hip House, Acid House, all the good stuff. There's Gino Latino, Welcome. We got the Jungle Brothers, Our House You. As we flip through here, then we got Craze the Party. Uh, we got the 49ers right there. What else we got? Latour, people are still having sex. And we flip through this. I know we got some good ones in here. There it is. Calm 3 on Elusive Records. You Take Me High, really good. And we got like some Your Disco, Your House in here. And as we flip, we start over. We have, uh, I have Industrial, EBM, and New Beat. There's Be My Power Station, MC Nine Hood and Foot Jesus, Nine Inch Nails. Then we got Rigor Mortis by Split Second, Beating the Dream, 88 Public Relations. There's the Gruesome Twosome, Hallucination Generation. Uh, By God 20, The Bog. There's another copy right there. Acid Horse, No Name, No Slogan. Uh, there's Shriek Back Nemesis. And our synth pop starts right here. You've got the uh, Boy Shoy. We have uh, Succession, The Magician. Good, a lot of good. Of course, we got Looking from the Hilltop by Section 25. Uh, Den Harrow, Metallo Disco. They got Win in Rome. The Promise, as we scan through here, there's a uh, Celebrate the Nun, this is Will You Be There, there's some really good stuff, uh, Sparks, music you can dance to, Desire, all the good stuff, uh, as we go down, there's uh, the LP section here, a lot of old school, bold, spread the word, we got Nucleus, Jam on Revenge, there's the Breaking Soundtrack, Shannon, uh, Best of Techno Hop, we got Kuiper, we have uh, the Johnson Crew, Lost in Space, Dynamics 2, The Album, Bass Patrol, Malcolm McLaren, all the good stuff. Here's all the craft work. Got Computer World, Electric Cafe, two copies of that. There's the Autobahn. There's another copy of Computer World. There's the man machine right there. Over here, here's all my progressive house. And uh, all the way over here. We got Breakbeat, you know, all you good stuff, Thursday Club. We got some DJ Icy in there, the one. And over here, we have some of the mainstream stuff. Uh, Wham, 80s stuff. We got uh, Ready for the World, Old Sheila. We got Rhythm as a Dancer. And here's some of the techno, hardcore. Right here, we got Two Unlimited, Psychosonic, Welcome to My Mind. We got some Alternative Device, What is Sadness. We got some indie rock right there, all term, the cult, the rain, good stuff. We got Echo and the Bunny Man, Lips Like Sugar, all the good stuff right there. So we can go on and on, my friends, but all the classics, all the vintage stuff is here. I love it. It's easy to take care of. So happy, so proud to have this part of my music room. So thank y'all so much for uh, coming on my tour, and I appreciate everything. So y'all have a good one.